We've got some new guidance out today on the possible dangers of tick bites, with some people apparently getting sick to their stomach from a food allergy when they eat things like red meat, like animal products. There's this other report from the CDC that says tick-borne illnesses are going up, so more and more people are having problems from tick bites, especially in the Northeast. And if you're like, great, terrible timing, I get it, because right now the weather's getting warmer. Maybe you're getting outside more. Dr. Akshay Saral is joining us now. So wait, talk to me about this and I'm, I'm alpha gal syndrome, right? That's what it's called. It's very rare, it's new, but it, it affects people's stomach after they get bitten by a tick? Yeah, Hallie, so alpha-gal really is an allergy to red meat that it, our best guess is this develops after a tick bite. Um, so basically what happens mm. is you get bitten by a tick called a lone star tick. Uh, so about weeks to months after that. Is that like bigger or smaller than a deer tick, let's uh, say? You know, I'm actually not sure size-wise, um, but it looks pretty similar. Okay. Um, so you same same tick precautions. But, you know, four to six weeks after you, after you get bitten, um, you may actually start to develop an allergy to red meat, where every time you eat beef or lamb, wow. you could get the typical hives and, and rash that you see with allergies. So you could have trouble breathing, go to anaphylactic shock. But what we're learning today is you can actually only have stomach problems. Um, so a lot of patients are really just having, uh, you know, uh, abdominal pain or nausea or vomiting with no real answer being labeled as IBS. And the guidelines today from the really national group of stomach doctors saying, hey, wait a minute, let's test them for alpha-gal and see what, see what happens. Are we seeing more cases of people who are coming in and presenting with symptoms of alpha-gal? Exactly. And I think the more awareness of this, it it's, could just be an isolated stomach problem. And really the red flag symptom you want to watch for is, are you waking up in the middle of the night? Are you just having excruciating stomach pain? Are you having you know, nausea, vomiting? Because it, it, what's weird about this allergy, two, it's two to six hours after you eat something. Okay. That you start to have symptoms. And I think if, if you have a friend who has, you know, a peanut allergy, it's pretty immediate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's what's making this a little bit more mysterious and a little bit more, f frankly, interesting. As you say, like, it could get misdiagnosed as IBS or maybe some other type of, you know, neuro, whatever. Um, are we seeing more of this because, like, we, we talk about the climate perspective a lot on this show. The climate change is a factor here, right? Explain, pull that thread, explain that for us. So, you know, as the a, as a weather gets warmer, ticks like warmer weather. And as the weather gets warmer, ticks are going to places they weren't normally going to, like Canada. Mm -hmm. um, they're also spending a lot more time not hibernating because it's warmer in places they already were. Um, so we talk a lot about, you know, climate change affecting allergies with a, a lot of pollen in the air. Now we're learning about how it can affect uh, tick diseases like Lyme disease or like alpha-gal. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, for those who have this, am I going to be okay? I talked to the leading researcher, really the world expert on this field, uh, right before coming in. He said three to five years is what they're seeing. You're allergic for three to five years, but after that, if you keep a nice diet away from red meat, there's a chance of recovery. Do I love that you're calling the world's leading expert before you walk into the studio here? I do. Um, real quick precautions. I mean, it's just wear the long socks when you're hiking, check for tick bites. It's the usual tick stuff? It's the usual stuff. Okay. Dr. Sayal, great to see you yeah. in D.C. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.